Hello and welcome to this tutorial about profiling an application with the Intel VTune Profiler. My name is Martin Ernst and I work at the Pleiades Computing Facility at the University of Wuppertal. In previous tutorials, we have learned how to use Intel VTune to profile our applications. And in this tutorial, we will now cover a couple of small tips and tricks that didn't fit anywhere else. First, you should be aware that there is a complete command line interface for VTune. It is very useful if you want to script the creation of multiple profiles. Everything is explained with vtune-help and you can get subpages for the help documentation by appending commands as well. One example is vtune-help collect to learn how to start a measurement from the command line. It is possible to set special options of analysis types through the dash knob argument. The help page of collect hotspots, for example, prints a list of all available knob arguments for that particular analysis type. When configuring an analysis in the graphical user interface of VTune, you can click on the second small button on the bottom right. It will give you the exact command to reproduce the same profile as it is configured in the GUI from the command line. This can be really useful to explore command line options and produce configurations that are later executed in a script. A different topic are non-deterministic influences that you should consider during measurements. A very common cause is network communication. This could be through files on a shared file system or whenever your application depends on external connections. In some cases, it may be enough to ensure that there is a local copy of all relevant files, maybe in slash temp. If you perform measurements on different platforms, you also have to take different underlying hardware into account. Reading from spinning disks or an SSD is an obvious example. In the end, VTune sample collection is itself a reason for some non-deterministic results. So don't take measurements too literally. You, another user or system services could produce processes that compete with available resources while the profile measurement is running. For this reason, it can be necessary to try to get exclusive access to a machine and minimize parallel activities. When profiling large applications or test cases, you might notice that VTune results require a lot of disk space and take a long time to load. In this case, you should try to minimize your example to keep the iteration time low. Do you really need to collect call stacks? Turning off options like this might improve the situation already. And finally, you can limit the data collection to only a small subsection of your application. This is possible with the Intel Instrumentation and Tracing Technology Library. With the ITT API, you can signal VTune to resume or pause the collection from within your program code. In this minimal example, we start VTune with paused collection and skip irrelevant sections of the program initialization. Then ITT instructs VTune to start the collection for the interesting code section. At the end, we pause again to also skip some irrelevant finalization parts. It helps us to steer the data collection from our code. The only thing we have to do is to add these commands to the code and start our measurements in VTune in the paused mode. But the ITT API does in fact provide many more features than just resume and pause. For example, you can define groups and mark separate code sections this way. Please have a look at the corresponding documentation if you are interested in using ITT in your situation. There are some third-party tools that can make use of VTune's results. One example is gprof2.dot, which can read the results of various profilers and create a complete call graph in the commonly used dot format. As an intermediate step, you have to instruct VTune to export the results in the correct format. The final graph is essentially a big map of your application structure and can help you with understanding the order of operations. VTune can import Linux perf traces. This refers to profiles that have been produced with the Linux perf tool via a perf record. With this approach, you can make use of VTune to analyze results that already have been collected or in cases where data taking with VTune is not possible. The details on how to run this are available in the VTune documentation. Another example is Flame Graph, which can create flame graphs of the collected call stack information. This tool is not necessary in the recent One API versions of VTune anymore, since the feature is now directly available. But in cases where you are still running with an older version, you might be interested in this. Finally, I want to highlight some of the very substantial reference manuals and tutorial documents provided by Intel. They are a great resource to dive into when trying to learn something in greater detail or to get an overview. I hope these tips are useful for your project.